Hi, my name is Jenna and I'm a violinist in the Royal Irish Academy of Music in Dublin. This week is our Performance Spotlight Week. We are doing a side-by-side -side with the Irish Baroque Orchestra. And hi, my name is Niamh and I play horn. Myself and Jenna are so excited to bring you along on this week. On Monday at 10am we started with the string sectional conducted by Peter Whelan and members of IBO, Claire Duff, Alia Cornish and Aoife Niachliach. Straight away we were welcomed into a very safe, friendly environment. Working through our repertoire, we focused on colour, some tricky intonation passages and, of course, how to play together again. Wind and brass sectionals followed starting at 2pm with Peter Whelan. We focused on applying appropriate musical styles to the pieces. We also focused on chamber ensemble skills in preparation for the first Tushy rehearsal the next day. My name is um, Peter Whelan and I'm delighted to be back at the Royal Irish Academy of Music to um, do this concert with the orchestra here. Um, it brings back lots of lovely memories for me, uh, from my time in the Academy. Um, our programme um, is really varied, but all from the early part of the 18th century. We're starting with an amazing little symphony by uh, Joseph Boulogne. He knew Mozart in, uh, in, in Paris and the two didn't get on because there was a lot of competition between them. Then we have a, an amazing piece for um, trumpets and flutes, which is a divertimento supposedly by Mozart, but it seems that are, there are two other composers that play here, but it's an amazing um, sound world. And it's great that the Academy students are using these natural trumpets as well, which have their own a really brilliant and special color. The kind of trumpets we'd use in the uh, Irish Brock Orchestra, We're playing a great piece, uh, Symphony by Van Maldere. Um, and it's a, he's a, a Flemish composer who lived in Dublin for a while and he probably composed it in Ireland, and it's an extremely forward-looking classical symphony. He was a composer who really influenced Mozart in a big way. It's just amazing to think that this piece was played in Dublin, you know, where we all are in about 1750s. The final piece is the most famous piece of all, which is um, the first movement from Mozart's uh, Symphony No. 40, uh, which is by far the best known piece on, on the programme. But I think it's really interesting to compare a really known composer like Mozart in this masterpiece with other composers and other musicians who were working about the same time. So nice to be playing with other people again. I have played with woodwinds in about a year and a half or so. <laughs> so it's really good to be playing again. Yeah, it's such a nice, it's just so nice like, getting out of the house, like having something to do, but also like, it's just a great experience. Like you get energy off other people and you're so not used to um, just being with other people. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. It had been a full year since the orchestra had been together and this time things were a little bit different with masks, distancing and extra breaks in between rehearsals. The days were long and tiring, but it was such a treat to be playing back together again. Hello, my name's Alia Cornish and I'm CEO and viola player with the Irish Baroque Orchestra. Um, I would say when it comes to playing with a student orchestra, the main difference is that it feels really new and exciting because a lot of the players around us are playing this music for the first time and it makes you kind of see it with new eyes as well, that they'll find different ways of going with a phrase or they'll do something that you haven't thought of and when you've played something a lot, you don't see it in the same way at all. So I'd say that's a really refreshing difference. I'm really enjoying this project because we get to use rock instruments and bows, uh, so playing on gut strings and using a rock bow, um, it's just really fun to get to do it in an ensemble. It's really nice to play this uh, side by side project with Irish Baroque Orchestra because I didn't have really uh, experience with Baroque Orchestra, so I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, my favourite thing about this week? Probably the repertoire. Love the repertoire. A bit of Mozart, a bit of um, Van Maldre and uh, um, Boulogne. Boulogne. Great stuff. Our rehearsals and goodbyes ended at 5 pm every day. Glamorous job, really. You know. <laughs> day four started with some bow yoga with Aoife, or as she described it, boga. Here we experimented with our bows, finding our quietest sounds to the most extreme scratchy sound. <laughs> This exercise really opened up our imaginations to the colours that we could create throughout our repertoire. 
Claire Duff, I'm leader of the Irish Baroque Orchestra and this week I'm doing a side-by-side -side project with the Academy students. I feel that side-by-side -side projects are a very, very important part of a student's learning. Um, this is because in, in lessons the teachers using words to describe things and explain things and um, you're just using concepts but if you're sitting together and playing music, making music together, um, things are learned uh, intuitively, almost by osmosis. <laughs> So we're just outside Wimble Lane and we finished our rehearsals for the day and we can't wait for the, our concert tomorrow. Woo! Concert day finally came and the atmosphere was one of excitement and joy. Because it was not possible to have a live audience, the amazing camera crew of the Royal Irish Academy of Music recorded the concert for a virtual release. Please listen to our concert today and we're going to leave the link for you below. But in the meantime, we're having a lot of fun playing together again, even in the distance. And we get to dress up and leave our houses and play beautiful music. So uh, we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. I really enjoyed my week with the Irish Brock Orchestra side by side project. Um, it was great to get through uh, such a vast repertoire and uh, learn the style of Baroque and classical music. It's been so nice to vlog this experience because we got to see everyone's perspective um, and it's been really nice to play the orchestra again because we don't usually get to see each other anymore. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Bye! Bye. We're just outside with Lane. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, going now. Hi, my name is Jenna. I'm a violinist in the Royal Irish Academy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> My highlight of the week was getting to play a very... Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's been so nice to vlog this experience because we got to see everyone's perspective um, and it's been really nice to play the orchestra again because we don't usually get to see each other anymore. No, that is terrible! <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching <laughs> <laughs>